We, the PhD faculty from Prescott College in Sustainability Education, want you to know that we are working hard to stay responsive, active, and culturally relevant through the COVID-19 global pandemic, while focusing on continued pedagogical action for racial justice. We have been able to alter our residential requirements such that no one has had to travel to increase their risk, and we aim to make our remote engagements like orientation or the virtual symposium both experiential and interactive. Our program ideology that centers social and environmental justice is grounding and provides guidance through these times. We, a multidisciplinary group of scholar practitioners, are working closely with our students and communities to be proactive, and we wanted to highlight how some of that is manifesting through our program. We will go around and share in our practices what sustainability education looks, sounds, and feels like for us today. This year offers an occasion for each of us to consider the paradox of what it means to be an individual and what it means to be a fully supportive member of a learning community. As an educator, I believe this is a teachable moment. We are being challenged to consider sustainability in the frames of physical, mental, and emotional health. We are being challenged to ponder the role of sustainability in anti-racist teaching and learning. Beginning with a deep respect for individual differences and reflecting on what might be the greatest good for the larger community and the earth herself, my desire is for us to be intentional in what we learn, how we learn it, and how our actions demonstrate our intentions. Hi, my teaching philosophy seeks to rehumanize education and dismantle power structures. I acknowledge that this is hugely complex in academia, yet this pedagogy is paramount at this moment as we navigate a global pandemic and are challenged to do better, be better in the face of Black Lives Matters and the racial justice movement. Sustainability education sees teaching and research as political. This means that I acknowledge each of you are human beings navigating multiple identities, responsibilities, and come with a wealth of knowledge and lived experiences. I want to challenge you at a scholarly level while having empathy. You have the power and ability to take charge of your own learning. I hope to serve as a facilitator and strive to provide a diverse body of literature and knowledge. I work to intentionally center BIPOC voices and scholars and consider place as historically and politically entangled. I try to meet students where they're at intellectually and effectively, honoring how their unique experience of shape the way they see the world. It is my express aim to find the space where students' passion overlaps their academic pursuits. And in the process, I hope to encourage students to purposefully build meaningful learning communities that celebrate each other's distinct perspectives and seeks to build bridges through finding our collective shared purpose. I humbly acknowledge those who've come before me and honor the wisdom of nature's living classroom. Hello, my name is Dr. Rachel Dunbar. I have a background in education with particular emphasis in urban education, and I use the philosophy of culturally relevant pedagogy because I feel like people bring their cultural capital into all learning situations with them. I have traveled to five of the seven continents, and what I try to do is take the global exposure that I've had and integrate that into a hands-on minds on way of teaching so that we can have a broader way of looking at things. I am looking forward to being able to work with you in multiple capacities and I look forward to learning from you as you learn from me as well. In these times, our notions of community must be re-examined. This includes identifying what constitutes a community and whose community we're including or omitting, either knowingly or unknowingly. As there is a radical shift to online teaching, we as educators are asking how might communities of learning and engagement look different in times of social distancing, and how can we foster or increase student connection and learning in virtual environments. Learning and community to us 
also means community engagement. Even in a time of distance learning, this brings immediacy and urgency to our studies. Questions that drive our inquiry are about what does this, what does my community need, and how can I take steps to find out and to take action? Embedded approaches that aim not only to understand, but also to transform, emerge as appropriate designs to tackle the complex issues that are central to this college's mission, social justice, and the changing environment. As my research and scholarship focus on understanding and dismantling white supremacy as enacted in teaching and learning, I have been able to hold space for white anti-racist affinity groups for our doctoral learning community to share and process our own collusion with whiteness and to create a community of accountability to black indigenous and folks of color with whom we live, commune, work, and convene. In my teaching and leadership, I try to honor learning as experiential, acknowledge what I do not know rather than feign expertise, encourage myself, colleagues, and students to unpack our own stories, power, and positions, and strive to cultivate learning opportunities that both reflect our own selves as well as those outside of our spheres of influence. I believe the personal is political, that our stories reflect larger systems of power and privilege, and bottom line, that the relational is critical. And I'm wishing for our learning community to be whole, authentic, and connected. Thank you for watching. <laughs>